वेलकम टू द क्लास इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द एरिया ऑफ ए पेलोग्राम इन डिटर्मिन फॉर्म एंड देन यूजिंग द एरिया ऑफ पेलोग्राम वी विल डिराइव एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल हुज वटिस आर गिवन सो लेट स्टार्ट लेट ए बी सी बी ए पेलोग्राम हुज वटिक्स ए लाइज ऑन द ओरिजिन and the coordinates of b and d are a comma b and c comma d respectively as a b c d is a parallelogram so coordinate of c will be equal to a plus c comma b plus d area of the parallelogram a b c d can be found by subtracting the area of these two triangles and subtracting the area of these two trapeziums from area of rectangle afce og will be equal to a bg will be equal to b dg will be equal to c cf will be equal to b plus d similarly ah will be equal to d dh will be equal to c ce will be equal to a plus c and h will be equal to b now this area will be equal to half of ab this area will be equal to half of cd this area will be equal to half of a plus 2c into b this area will be equal to half of to b plus d into c now area of the parallelogram is equal to area of a f c e minus area of triangle agb agb minus area of triangle adh adh minus area of trapezium b g f c minus area of trapezium d h e c now area of a f c e will be equal to length into breadth a plus c into b plus d minus area of triangle agb area of triangle agb is equal to half of ab minus area of triangle adh is equal to half cd minus area of bgfc bgfc is half into 2b plus d into c minus area of triangle dhec is equal to half a plus 2c into b as the area of a trapezium is equal to half sum of parallel sides into distance between them so this will be the area of trapezium bgfc and this will be the area of trapezium dhec 
simplifying them we'll get AB plus AD plus BC plus CD minus half AB minus half CD minus BC minus half CD minus half AB AB minus BC now this BC will cancel this BC these two negative half AB will make negative AB this will cancel this AB this negative half CD and this negative half CD will make a negative CD and these two combinedly will cancel this CD now we are left with AD and BC this is area of parallelogram A B C D which is equal to A D minus B C this can be written in determined form A B C D so this area is A D minus B C now using this idea we will find the area of a triangle whose three vertices are given let ABC be the given triangle whose vertices are x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 in class 11th we have learned about the shifting of origin of axis shifting of origin will not make any effect in the area of the triangle so shifting the origin from this point to this point that is x1 comma y1 these are the new x and y coordinate now new coordinates of a will be 0 comma 0 new coordinates of b will be x2 minus x1 comma y2 minus y1 and new coordinate of C will be x3 minus x1 comma y3 minus y1 when we shift origin from O to the new point A. Let us complete the parallelogram. Now area of parallelogram area of parallelogram a b d c will be equal to x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 x3 minus x1 y3 minus y1 now we know that the diagonal of parallelogram divides the triangle into two triangles of equal area so area of this triangle or the required triangle will be will be half the area of parallelogram a b d c so area of triangle abc is equal to half the area of the parallelogram is equal to x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 x3 minus x1 y3 minus y1 so this is the expression for the area of a triangle whose vertices are given x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 let us expand it x2 minus x1 into y3 minus y1 minus x3 minus x1 into y2 minus y1 half x2 into y3 minus y1 minus x1 into y3 minus y1 minus x3 into y2 minus y1 plus x1 into y2 minus y1 
connecting these two terms together and taking common x1 half x1 into y2 minus y1 minus y3 plus y1 now writing this term x2 y3 minus y1 minus now taking one more minus common from this bracket this minus sign will become positive plus x3 y1 minus y2 is equal to half x1 y2 minus y3 as these two will get cancelled x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 this is the same formula which we have learned in class 10th now the formula which is given in our textbook is area of triangle is equal to half x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 r2 minus r1 and r3 minus r1 on the right hand side will get x1 y1 1 x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 0 x3 minus x1 y3 minus y1 0 expanding along c3 we'll get area of triangle is equal to half x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 x3 minus x1 y3 minus y1 which is the same formula which we have just derived as area is a positive quantity and the value determined may be negative so we'll take always absolute value for the area of the triangle of other matter area of parallelogram this much only in this video in our next video we'll learn about the minus and cofactor of a determinant